A few years ago, a coal power plant was shut down in Nevada in response to the shutdown. This is what was written on Google. The power plant was shut down under the false pretense that global warming is actually caused by man's efforts. Follow the money, people. Who's getting rich from convincing people that there is global warming? And man did it. Now, this comment was subsequently liked by a lot of people. And uh, Lau Allen believes, or Alan Lau, he believes that um, this power plant was shut down because of the false pretense of global warming. Well, actually, coal power plants, it turns out, have prematurely caused the deaths of millions of Americans. So if you've been breathing in the dust from one of these power plants, your life expectancy on average is said to be 20 years shorter. Yeah, whether or not you believe in global warming doesn't really matter when it comes to life and death, does it? However, what happened after they shut down this power plant was quite interesting because it shows what is really going on. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. And it's fantastic to see how many big batteries have been installed in the United States over the past 12 months. They're saying that the, the number of batteries be, that, are be, that will be installed in the US this year, while well, they're saying it's going to double, as in everything that already exists will double. So 100% increase in a single year. And this shows you that actually uh, we're winning the, for, the fight against fossil fuels. Now, the Reed Gardner Generating Station, um, as it was affectionately known, was a 557 megawatt coal-fired plant sitting on 480 acres located near Moapa, Nevada. It was co-owned by NV Energy and the California Department of Water Resources. However, it was inefficient and costly. The plant consisted of four different power stations. The first three were 100 megawatt units, and were placed into service in 1965, 1968, and 1976. The fourth unit was placed into service in 1983 and it produced 257 megawatts. Three units of the Reed Garden were shut down in 2014. The fourth went in March 2017 and the entire plant was demolished in 2019. Now, it was actually very controversial. The reason was because of its location close by to the Moapa band of Paiute Indians Reservation and one of their communities. It was very close to this community. And there's no question um, that the community were right to be saying this is polluting our air, because it was. The plant had long been a concern over the, on the health effects of the very nearby residents. And as a result of several agreements to improve the air quality around the plant, the upgraded plant was actually, well, it's, it was improved, but it was still basically killing people. We now know from evidence that's been revealed this year that millions of people died prematurely in the United States over the past 20 years as a direct result of the particles coming from these coal power plants. Well, that's the past. And as much as it sucks, it's terrible. It is kind of nice to see that the future is moving on. Now in that same location, well, much of it has been turned into farmland, but a small section of it is being used for massive battery storage. California is moving away from fossil fuels very quickly. And it's predominantly now being run by solar energy and battery storage. There is now basically a huge battery plant where this coal plant used to be. Nevada Utility NV Energy's latest energy storage system or latest mega battery sits on the former coal plant. Swiss US battery energy storage specialist Energy Vault built the 220 megawatt slash 440 megawatt hour grid tied Reed Gardner battery energy storage system on the same location as the coal plant. It is 50 miles northeast of Las Vegas. The new battery is on the site of the former 557 megawatt Reed Gardner power plant. And the great thing about this new battery is it is playing a huge role in uh, helping us not waste energy. Essentially what's happening, what was happening is a lot of solar power was being completely wasted because for example, last week in California, 
there were a few days where solar was creating 160% of the grid's needs, meaning that extra 60% in the past was being completely wasted. Now it's being stored in these huge battery packs. So rather than wasting this extra solar that California is generating during the middle of the day, it's being saved into the battery and then it's being used between 7 and 9 p.m. in those peak hours when demand is really, really high. Between 7 and 9 p.m. now, the number one largest source of energy in California is energy coming from these batteries, which is awesome because really in the past, that wasn't the case at all. All this solar power was being wasted, but now you can basically even charge your EV between these hours. I don't recommend it because it's more expensive, but you can do so. With the knowledge, there's a pretty good chance that power charging your EV will be coming from solar generated during the day. Now, here's what the CEO of the project said. It's quite interesting. The hours that NV Energy really get concerned about are from 5 to 9 p.m. when people come home from work and the sun is going down. What happens at that point is the solar energy has started to ramp off as the sun's going down. And so we have often had to go out to the market, the energy market, and buy energy to meet the needs between 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. And that energy is probably going to be fossil fuel generated energy. Over the last couple of years, on average, we've paid $250 per unit of energy during those hours, those peak hours. We look at a project like this, and this can deliver energy for closer to $100 an hour a unit of energy. That's a huge reduction in cost going from $250 to $100. The Inflation Reduction Act actually covered 40% of the project's $250 million cost, which this is, it really shows you that the entire inflation, inflation Reduction Act, I mean, some of it is gonna be ineffective and inefficient because that's what happens. But in general, most of the projects are like this. They're enabling governments to save huge amounts of money if they are willing to invest in renewables. Really exciting to see this because this isn't happening not just in California. It's happening all across different states in America. It's happening all across Europe. It's happening in a big way as well here in Australia where coal power plants are being shut down early because renewables are creating so much power that we can now store and then use when we need it in the evenings. Thanks for watching.